on september 10th 2025 conservative activist charlie kirk was tragically shot while speaking at uttar valley university a single bullet struck his neck he collapsed almost instantly and despite emergency care he did not survive in this video we will explore from a medical perspective what likely happened in those crucial moments and why such an injury is nearly impossible to survive here is what have been reported he was shot once in the neck witnesses described heavily bleeding with the blood pouring from the wound he collapsed almost immediately after impact the shot came from distance fired with a high powered rifle despite rapid response he was later pronounced dead at the hospital these observations already give trauma experts key clues about what occurred psychologically the neck may seem small but it is one of the most vulnerable area of the body running through it are critical structures the carotid arteries on each side delivering oxygen rich blood to the brain the jugular veins draining blood back from the brain the trachea or airway essential for breathing the esophagus the spinal cord and the countless nerves if a bullet transects meaning completely severs a carotid artery blood flows to the brain is disrupted instantly the pressure is so high that blood jets out causing massive external hemorrhage with seconds the brain is starved of oxygen based on the reports of heavy bleeding and immediate collapse the most likely scenario is a carotid artery transection here is what probably happened the step by step guide the bullet tore through his neck hitting a major vessel the carotid artery was severed blood pressure dropped instantly the brain blood supply was cut off this is called loss of cerebral perfusion within 1 to 2 heart beats consciousness was lost ongoing hemorrhagic drained blood volumes causing shock and systemic collapse the sequence explains why he dropped immediately after impact and why survival was nearly impossible even with rapid first aid survival in the situation is extremely rare to save a person trauma surgeons must expose and clamp the artery repair it and restore blood flow within minutes that can only be done in an operating room not on a stage field medics can apply pressure but when the vessel is completely transected and bleeding is torrential comprehension often fails without brain blood flow the window of consciousness is measured in seconds not minutes while the carotid injury is the most likely other structures may also have been damaged such as the vertebral artery jugular vein trachea or even the spinal cord each could add complications but the combination of massive bleeding and immediate collapse strongly points to vascular trauma as a primary lethal factor here is the likely timeline first the impact bullet strikes to the neck second later catastrophic bleeding cerebral perfusion lost unconscious and collapse minutes later despite emergency efforts brain injury becomes irreversible this devastating chain of events is what makes neck trauma so unforgiving in summary charlie kirk's 
Traj death most likely resulted from a catastrophic neck injury, especially a major arterial transection. The loss of blood and oxygen to the brain explains the instant collapse and why survival was essentially impossible outside of an operating room. This event is a sobar reminder of how fragile life is and how political violence leaves lasting scales on the families, communities and an entire nation. Rest in peace, Charlie Kirk. Our thoughts are with his family, friends and supporters.